Got my TARDIS mug. That's one thing I won't be giving up. My coffee. Happy New Year! This is my obligatory New Year's video for y'all, my lovelies. Kinda missed ya. Looking back on 2014 and 2013, those were years where my business came first. Getting settled down here in North Carolina, getting things all set up, ready to go, getting a business functioning, that was my primary gumption, if you will. My, what's the word, propulsion? Whatever this is, this year, I did whatever it took to make sure that my business survived. And some of that was really great because I got to make new friends and I got to see new places. But parts of that was also really terrible because I was exhausted and pretty much sick the entire year. As much as I wish I were, I'm not a jet setter. So I finally got a break here at the tail end of the year, beginning of the year, to just sit and think about what I want for 2015 and for the next whatever years to follow. And I don't want to live in this constant bubble of stress and exhaustion and sickness. I'm tired of being tired all the time. And part of the reason that I'm tired all the time is because I'm not taking care of myself. I'm not wholly well. And that's not just exercise and eating, that's a whole slew of other things. And I know a lot of people resolve to get fit in 2015 and the new year, yeah! And then like three weeks later, after going to the gym twice, they walk away from it again. I wanna take into consideration my wellness as a whole. And wellness to me is not just physical. Like yes, physical is a big, big part of it. You have physical, but you have mental, and you have spiritual, like your soul and what makes your soul happy. So I've decided to make this my focus this year. And part of keeping on task with this wellness journey, I don't, I don't like that name, but I couldn't think of anything else for it. Or I'm calling it the 2015 Wellness Challenge. I'm not 100% in love with that, so if you have a better idea, post it in the comments below. So I've decided to try very, very hard to make a weekly video, just focusing on all aspects of my health and my wellness and my mental state and and just life that's going on, things that I'm doing. Because part of this journey is being kept accountable. Like if I don't have anybody keeping on me, I'm gonna fail at this. Like I'm gonna go back and revert to what's easy. Another thing that's important for me is to put things in place for success. Because I'm one of those people who will talk about an idea and then I'll never implement it. So I took the time in the past couple of months to find a gym that I really, really love and find classes that I really, really love that I can go to on a consistent basis. So physically, I've got a gym set up. I spent yesterday grocery shopping and getting healthy food and getting meals set up for the week. I'm gonna try to go to bed earlier and get more sleep because that's always a good thing. Another element of my physical, but also it goes into my emotional wellness, is essential oils. I've been using those for the past two years for a lot of my physical health issues and it's been incredible. And I'm finally at the point where I wanna start sharing a little bit about that with you guys too. So there'll be a little bit about that. I'm not gonna saturate you with essential oil stuff because that's not what my blog is about. But also don't worry if you're used to goofy, crazy Maven, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> sure, this will still have a lot of crazy. And as far as like spiritual and emotional health goes, it's time for me to get a lot more vulnerable and be a lot more real with this vlog. That terrifies me. I'm someone who likes to put up walls. I like to protect myself. I always have, but by putting up walls, I'm also preventing some really incredible things from happening. And that includes my own healing. You're gonna get to know me a lot more. I understand if you unsubscribe. Just kidding, don't unsubscribe. Get your friends to subscribe. You know you ought to. I not only wanna take control of wellness for myself, but I wanna challenge other people to do the same. So if we're doing this thing together, then we're more likely to succeed. So if you wanna jump on board with the wellness train, again, pop a comment down below, let me know. So I can comment on your videos and on your social medias and bug the crap out of you. What? So I was talking briefly on Facebook last night about some of the recipes that I had made and a lot of you asked me about 
the recipes. So here is a list of some of the things that I have made and will be making this week. And I've posted their recipes down below. I can't guarantee that all of them are gonna be fantastic because I'm doing kind of like a Pinterest challenge as well. If you don't wanna try them first and you wanna hear my opinion. So far, the granola, so good. The pumpkin granola is so good. The chicken salad. Pretty tasty. I was actually really pleasantly surprised with that. I added in just a hint of curry powder because I really love chicken salad with curry in it. And that was just my personal addition to the recipe. Oh, and then the ratatouille, which I just made up on the spot. So I don't really know if there's a recipe for that, but I'll attempt to make one. Okay, so that's the overview. That's it for this week. Next week, we'll see how I do. <laughs> I'll be checking in with you guys and kind of talking about some of the high points and the pitfalls of my first week. I'm sure these will get a lot more entertaining as we go on. Um, cause <laughs> who doesn't love Maven being uncomfortable and awkward in front of a camera? <laughs> Until next week, I'll see you soon. I'll be burping a whole bunch. Cause I just ate granola. Granola makes me burp. Make sure I don't have any granola in the teeth. This is the problem. Tip for vlogging. Don't eat right before you film. Because there's all sorts of stuff going on. But I had already poured my granola. And it was getting soggy. There's nothing worse than soggy granola. <laughs>